Hello, my name is Diane Lauer. I'm the Director of Curriculum and Instruction in the Thompson School District, and this presentation goes through the process of unpacking the standards. And this graphic organizer that we will be using was created by content specialists at the Colorado Department of Education for the purpose of unpacking the new Colorado standards. I have two windows open right now. I have this Word document where we can see unpacking the standards and it is in legal format. And then the other document I have behind it is actually one page from the seventh grade uh, reading, writing, and communicating standards, uh, the standard uh, reading for all purposes, and uh, the concept informational and persuasive texts are summarized and evaluated. So um, the task that I'm going to be performing can be done with any grade level in any content. Um, this process of unpacking the standards is uh, the same no matter what content you're in. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go over this form a little bit. You'll see that it is chunked in three different sections. The first section um, is really breaking down the key ideas, the key nouns, verbs, and adjectives to bring out uh, the important parts of the standard. The second component is using that information from above to really identify a few things. When we say, you know, in standards, we want to know what students should know and be able to do. And that's really the first category. It's, it's know that what. Know what that students can do. The second section is how. What should students be able to do? Can we find elements of this in the standard? Once we're completing that section, we want to see if we can identify where are the deep, enduring understandings in this document. And then finally, um, what might be some essential questions um, that we can draw out of this standard document to frame when we start moving to the next step, which is designing our units. That's number two. Number three is really getting us into the mindset of what evidence might we collect to show uh, mastery, uh, to really say, you know, the student really knows how to do this. They really know what that means. And so in the no category, we're looking for some evidence and to be able to do, well, how would a student demonstrate evidence of really understanding that deep, enduring understanding? And um, how might they demonstrate uh, a comprehension if they were going to answer that essential question. So the first thing we're going to do, if we're going to do this electronically, one of the things that's really nice is being able to use the highlighter tool. And so if I make nouns yellow and let's highlight verbs green and highlight adjectives blue. If I go back to my seventh grade standards document, if I'm looking for nouns, some really important nouns in this standard is really, um, you know, this is, is really about nonfiction. It's about experiences. It's about problems. It is really taking a look at graphical representations, information, sources, themes, ideas, and structures of text, even viewpoints, fact, opinion. Um, I want to make sure that I look for important nouns over here too. Author viewpoint, bias, readers, sources. You kind of get the idea. If I want to take a look at verbs, what are some of the really important verbs? These are really critical. And interpret, organize, synthesize, connect, 
identify, paraphrase, analyze, explain, um, use, convey, show, distinguish. I think that's pretty good for example. And the last one, adjectives. What are some really important adjectives here? Um, if we take a look at, um, well, here's some key ideas and main ideas and supporting ideas and uh, word choice and language structure. Um, we can say non-print media. And um, those are some really important adjectives. So taking these, um, and I know I'm going to be putting them in the text, one thing that I can do is turn off my highlighter and if I want to um, grab some of these I can do a control C or a open apple copy and plop those into my text and I think representations is an important one and fact is another important noun. And fiction is another, I mean, opinion is another important noun. And you get the idea. And um, this is a great activity to not just do on your own, but to also work with uh, colleagues to identify what are some of the really important keywords in this text, in these standards. So I'm going to put a few more verbs here. And paraphrase. And a few adjectives. <clears throat> When we do this um, in a presentation, a lot of times people are wanting to know, you know, should I should I really make an exhaustive list of every single adjective or or as many key important adjectives or as many key important verbs and nouns that are that are in this document? And I really think when you're working with your colleagues, a lot of times it's dependent upon time. And once, if you've never unpacked standards before, it's always good to, I think, go as, as far as you can the very first time. The process is something that you really understand as you move forward. But once you've, you've spent some time and you've really said, you know, here are some really key nouns, verbs, verbs and adjectives, that is really um, helping you get into the text.